get started with People versus Daniel Greco. That is file 2189 of 2023. Here from our probation office, this is the date for a probation violation hearing. Did you receive a copy of the violation report, sir? Yes. And uh, what is your, uh, what do you want to do this morning? Do you want a hearing? Um, I'm not sure how the process goes, but I'll try to answer your question the best of my knowledge. Okay. Um, I understand the uh, details and the recommendation of the probation officer by probation violation. And there were three particular violations. One was a... Um, okay, I want to stop you right there because... What you're going to do is you're going to start telling me the facts of whether you did this or not. And if you're going to do that, you may say something that would be incriminating. And uh, if you're going to uh, have a hearing, you don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. So this is the way it works. If, if you have a hearing, you will be given an opportunity to testify and present evidence and uh, the probation officer will also testify and present evidence, and I'll make a decision whether I believe you violated the conditions of probation or not. If you were to waive your hearing uh, and plead guilty to the violations, I would still give you an opportunity to tell me whatever you want about any explanations you have for uh, missing the test as alleged. Do you understand that? Uh, yes. Okay. That is, that is my understanding. So um, I was not going to request the hearing. I was going to plead guilty to uh, the counts um, with comments. Okay. So you'd like to plead guilty and offer an explanation. Correct. Okay. So uh let me make sure that you are familiar with your rights then so you do understand you have a right to a hearing this morning and you've decided to waive that correct, correct. uh and you also decided to waive your right to a, an attorney correct correct uh, do you also understand the worst that could happen it's not being recommended but the worst that could happen is your probation could be revoked and you could be sentenced to up to 93 days in jail with credit for time served. Do you understand that? Yes. And uh, no one's used any force, threats, coercion, or made any promises to you to get you to waive your right to a hearing, have they? That is correct. All right, then. So uh, the report alleges that on November 3rd, you were placed on probation for operating while impaired. And as a condition of that probation, you were to not consume or possess alcohol and take tests to prove that you were not consuming or possessing alcohol. Is that all true? Yes. And the report goes on to allege that on uh, November 14th, uh, you missed a preliminary breath test in the evening. On November 18th, you missed an, uh, a morning preliminary breath test on December 19th, you missed a morning breath test. On January 7th, uh, you missed an evening breath test. And on January 15th, you missed a uh, evening breath test. And on January 18th, you missed a morning breath test. Is that all accurate? Yes, that's my knowledge. All right. There's an added allegation here that you missed your preliminary breath test on February 23rd. Is that true? I'm sorry. Uh, it says February 23rd, you missed a preliminary breath test as well. Um, missed the OBT? Yeah. On what day? February 23rd.
Okay, yes. so I'll accept your plea, find it's voluntary, accurate, and understanding. So what else do you want me to know about this? Why yeah. all these pieces? Um, so here's the new one that we were on. Mm -hmm. um, first to... Um, here's the thing, Judge. I was really hung over. This is, I would say, was user error on my initiating uh, with the actual testing device. Um, I have detailed each miss with my probation officer once missed, and then if I missed, I made sure I was in the beginning of whatever next window was to show my sobriety because I have been sober 100, 1000% 1, since 823, which is the understanding of the purpose of these PPTs is to uh, confirm chemically I'm not uh, consuming alcohol, which is... Yeah, and when we can't confirm it, we don't believe it. Which is the case. Um, I do have explanations. Um, I'm not sure if they... If they well, must... this is the time to tell me okay. what, what those explanations uh, yes. are. Um, so you said with the November 14th and 18th tests, that was uh, user error as a result of this being new to you and not being uh, familiar with the testing device is that correct that's correct all right um, how about december 19th 19th um uh, uh, was a pm correct uh morning oh yes morning of the 19th uh, was um that was so i went to the hospital 18. okay so the 18th <coughs> my wife i had to accompany her for a 911 call to emergency to go to munson uh i didn't bring my device um and consequently missed the PPT. Yes. Uh, no, that would have been the January. Um, January. January 7th or 15th? 15th. Uh, I had all this. Uh, and I can and I can provide it. I have a copy. Of, you, you've got something to show where you were at. Uh, I we were looking to try to get a confirmation through Monson because it was a nine one one call and they did admit her. Uh, but we I was unable for the purpose of this hearing uh, to be able to provide a printed or a soft text confirmation of that, but it's available because it's, uh, you know, it was a 911 call and I'd be open to, I mean, I called months in. Well, you must have some record of the hospital visit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, uh, but I couldn't get it uh, available in softer hard copy print for this time. I thought it would be okay. an easy, easy fix, but hey, Hang on just a second. Mr. Chamberlain, did you have a comment? Uh, did the 911 call come from your phone? Oh, we could just check. Four, oh, yeah, 404, 345, 845. I mean, if you have your phone right now, you can check the phone log and see if you called 911. Okay. My name is Ward of the Oath, right? So, yeah. my sir. Yeah. Your Honor, yeah. may I interject and ask a 
or oh, give I, a reference to the date that this happened. So if he's looking for the appropriate date, Mr. Oh, Greco? Yeah, what date did, did he tell you he went to the hospital? I'm showing that for the January 15th date is how he's yeah, okay. with me, just to make sure he's looking at the right date. Okay, thank you. So uh, take a look at your January 15th calls. Don't worry, it gets worse. Um, this is only going back to, I don't know why my phone's, it's only going back to my call log. Uh, um, Linda, do you want to see if you can talk, get a hold of Munson right now as it relates to that date so we can? All right. Well, let, let me just ask, ma'am, yes. yeah, you're the defendant's wife and you went to the hospital that day. Yeah, I okay. I'll, I'll accept that. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's, that's one date, uh, January 15th, but then there's also, uh, how about I asked about December 19th and what happened there. Do you have any explanation? Oh man, I got to get together. Yeah. Um, not see my correspondence to Jennifer, my probation officer. All right, were you away at court on this today? That, that's what I want to know. This is not filling me with confidence. I'm missing that document. I mean, I uh, uh, do you're and you're looking at Judge, uh, Your Honor, just or are you looking at the request by the probation officer as related to the dates of violation, correct? That's the, well, yeah, and yeah. specifically. Uh, you've you've explained what happened November 14th and 18th. Now I'm looking for uh, December 19th. Do you have any explanation for why you didn't uh, test I, on that day? I, I will. I will get to that. And, okay. Um, um, well, I'll, I'll give you the 23rd. Okay. Uh, February 23rd? Yes. All right. Um, that, that looks like you were down at the airport. Correct. So and the I, device tested cold. Uh, well, actually, um, and I wrote this to my probation officer, I, and I got my travel approved. It was my first business trip in some time, um, and and I was <clears throat> just going for the day to uh, New York City, where I had my device and my check bag. When I got to the airport at Newark, the flight was full. And they requested me to check my bag. My bag. I bring it on 
two or plates full in the check that bag. I thought it was okay because I'm connecting in Detroit. Well, originally I would be in connecting in Detroit and be able to get, you know, be able to blow during that window because my flight was 559 out of Newark. And I was, it's an hour and a half flight. So it was definitely going to be within the window to blow when I got to Detroit, except they checked my bag, but they checked it all the way through. So I didn't, I, I don't know. All the way through to where? To, to back Detroit. To, back to Detroit. Okay, yeah. so Probably. that's what I would expect. You left at 59, you get into Detroit, you get off the plane, you get your bag, no, your no, testing no. device is in there. So what happened? I was incorrect. I, my connection was in Detroit. My final destination was Cherry Republic. They checked my bag all the way through the Traverse. Oh, I so see. So you get my, uh, to my device um, to book. <laughs> I didn't get into one. Did he just say Cherry Republic? That, that, that's a store up there. Uh, the, the airport's Cherry Capital. <laughs> a little, little, little Northern Michigan humor for me there. So I'm not sure about the cold test, but uh, as long well, as... Well, this, that's the thing. This, this report shows that you attempted to test and uh, it didn't work because the device was too cold. If you just missed the test because your device arrived late, uh that would be different but that doesn't fit with the report here it shows that there was an attempt to test at wayne county uh, metropolitan era uh, metro airport basically and uh they checked my bag from the truck um so as this brings up a point which I, I'd like to address if I could, and that was um, because of the because of the issues with my misses has been uh, it's on me. I, I, I've missed for work, but not never, never because I've consumed that. What I did find out through the smart meter. Um, Person that I contacted, look, if I'm missing a window, I'm going to the very next window just to make sure that the device records that I'm having to get a call. So if I miss by two minutes, I should still blow. And in the beginning, if I missed, I just missed and was going to go on to this next window. And she said, no. It won't. What you, if you miss a window like that instance, and maybe it's minutes, maybe it's whatever, you blow, you contact me, I'll contact your you know, probation officer, we'll give an explanation as to what the situation was, and you'll have the blowing device uh, record, not within the window, but to show I was chemically free of alcohol. I don't know whether that affects my case. I don't know whether that, but if the real purpose of my rehabilitation <clears throat> is to be alcohol free, I am. If the purpose of my rehabilitation is to, uh, you know, adhere to whatever requirement is given by the court, I would adhere to. I would also say in doing my diligence, I found out that there was a tether that could have been an option for me that would not that would monitor me 24 7 and that if i missed you know i wouldn't be subject to missing the window because my window is yeah it could have been but it wasn't so let's go ahead and and talk about the court order that you violated and, and pled guilty to every day 24 7 was my understanding and i'd be willing to do that um to please the court or whatever I need to do uh, as I move forward. I know the judgment and the recommendation by the probation officer. There's two violations. One was uh, Catholic Human Services, which was completed at very early on. Uh, and I provided documentation that the um, substance or, or the counseling uh, I provided uh, Jennifer with uh, Heather Ford, who was my counselor in Glen Arbor. Um, 
and then brings us back to the DBTs. So I, I don't want to go to jail. I mean, that's bottom line. And I would do anything that the court deems um, appropriate uh, to hold me, you know, responsible or 24 seven if this tether is an option. Um, I, I don't know. Um, do I think five days in jail is going to fix my uh, rehabilitation? I'm already fixed as it relates to the consumption of alcohol. I've always been a law-abiding citizen. I haven't had any violation besides this in over 30 years. And call it what it is, uh, I made a mistake. I'm paying for it both monetarily, uh, hardship-wise, and all the above. I don't need to tell you a soft story. Uh, I would just throw myself at the mercy of the court uh, to say whatever I can do to uh, avoid jail, uh, to move forward, and be participating in whatever is deemed uh, appropriate. Obviously, my uh, a limited probation uh, or originally, I would, I would like to have a, a reduction of the probation. I know that's not an option, but I'd also, uh, I'll do whatever the court says. Um, thank you, provide any and all additional information okay. as I've documented it. Um, all right, thank you. Uh, I would like to hear from you, Mr. Chamberlain. Is there anything the people have to add? Your Honor, that was easily the most convoluted explanation I've ever heard um, related to occupation violation. Um, something you just said is that he's fixed, uh, but he says he's an alcoholic in um, his substance abuse assessment. I think as we know, uh, it is not being fixed from addiction. It is working through it every day. I I think that there are um, seven plus. This is weird. He needs to sit down. That, that's that's like a, it's really rude. Like it, it, this guy is getting his chance to say his piece. You go sit at council table, and 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 be quiet and let it happen. Missed PBT uh, with bond violations um is an issue also at sentencing the defendant said he only had half of a mike's hard lemonade which i'm going to go back to that and um uh -huh. he was at a point point one zero eight is what's coming to mind um he would be at roughly i'm talking all right, sir. Sir, I give I'm you sorry. an I'm opportunity sorry. to address the court. Now it's the prosecutor's turn. Please don't interrupt. I apologize. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Taylor. He was easily at, um, uh, for how much he claims he drank to where he would be, he was at, um, he only claimed about a tenth of what he would have drank. Um, with the, uh, I just, there's so many things that don't make sense to me. Um, I don't believe him. I'm just going to be honest with you. I Any objection? All objections. Um, I don't think that, or I think probation should be continued. No early release. He needs to provide all the... Um, program meetings that were not provided, and then uh, show the substance abuse counseling as well. And um, Ms. Hull, is he on two times daily? I'd have to double check and see where he's at. But I would recommend uh, two times daily. Sorry. Jennifer. Well, I think he's I doing. doing. I didn't uh, actually recognize you. Uh -huh. And then you're there, sorry. I think he's doing 
twice daily is already that okay then i would uh, request that to stay the same all right miss hall is there anything you'd like to add uh yes your honor um reference the hospital visit um, i had asked a couple of different times to provide proof of that and that was from back in like february 12th um where i'd asked for that proof of that visit because things happen and i understand that it just seems to be happening frequently in almost every month um, I want to see more consistency with this. I can appreciate that he's confident with his sobriety, but it's not proving that with his actions. All right, thank you. I'll give you one more chance, Mr. Greco. Go ahead. Is the tether an option to, um, you know, eliminate? Uh, it, it is. Look, I'm not going to be here again because of Ms. Peter. It's it's uh, an expensive option, and uh, well, I, I would say I would. If it's a possibility, can I do that and move jail? Okay, uh, I'll take that into consideration. So this is a sentencing on uh, multiple probation violations for missing preliminary breath tests. And uh, one thing I would know uh, with the explanations given for many of these uh, don't make sense. For example, you explained that it was user error on November 14th and November 18th, but you had been on bond, bond at least since September 1st because there were two bond violations, uh, missed PBTs on 9 1 and 917. Correct. So I'm not sure how uh, in November, after you've been testing for a couple of months, you're still making errors. Uh, that that doesn't add up. That no. there's a, okay. okay. This is the way it works. I give everyone an opportunity to state their case, and then I have to make a decision. So at this point, I'm making my decision. So I'd ask you to please remain quiet. Sorry. <laughs> then there's an explanation of a missed test because of uh, flying. And uh, that really uh, didn't make any sense either because uh, the defendant is saying he uh, had missed because his device was packed in his luggage and he was hoping to test in Detroit, but the luggage went through to Traverse City. I don't know why you'd expect to be able to get your bags in Detroit in the first place if uh, you were flying into Traverse City. But uh, even if that were the case, the fact is there was an attempt to test. Uh, the result was the device was too cold. There is another uh, violation I noted and that isn't on the report, but it uh, indicates the same problem. Well, actually it's the, the December 19th test where it indicated the device was too cold. You were attempting to blow into the device. And sometimes that can be because someone is trying to manipulate the test by uh, forcing air into it uh, without uh, actually blowing into it themselves. Then, uh, despite the fact I've given you an opportunity to explain what happened on December 19th, uh, January 7th, January 15th, there's no explanation as to what happened on those tests or January 18th. And I did see another violation somewhere between December 11th and December 13th. Uh, again, no explanation, and this is a lot of missed tests. Um, you, according to the original report, you're a recovering alcoholic. You were at a farmer's market where you were endangering uh, pedestrians at the farmer market, and the person who was in charge there uh, became very concerned that you were going to hit someone, and ma'am, you can step outside if you're not going to behave. I tolerated too much already, but one more incident and you're out of here.
fact is the, the purpose of this probation was to prove that you're not co to consume alcohol, you, that you're not consuming alcohol. That was a major outburst for this judge. Why do these tests if we're not going to take it seriously when you don't take the test? The assumption is that you're using alcohol. So I think the recommendations of the probation officer are appropriate. This is the first, uh, what they call a technical violation of the probation. So the uh, law specifies a jail sentence of up to five days. I think given the number of tests uh, that were tested in this case, it is appropriate. So it'll be five days in jail. There'll be no early release from probation. You're to provide the three program meetings that you haven't provided up to this point by March 13th. And uh, you're to provide proof of substance abuse counseling with each report. That is a sentence. And uh, if you want a tether instead of a, a uh, at home device, that would be fine. You can talk to Ms. Hull about it. Uh, if you think that's an easier option for you, it is more expensive. We're all set and I'm gonna take a five minute break. So there's no uh, five days, there's no present uh, time, sir. Not on this, no. This is five days. Do you like me to hand those belongings to your wife? Sure. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, five days. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Judge wasn't buying it. Neither was I. Neither was any right-minded person. <laughs> Five days in the clinic. I couldn't see what the wife was doing. But, but apparently she was obnoxious during the hearing. Uh, this guy, you could just... If you're going to make these excuses, at least have them lined up. He was sitting there for like fumbling with papers for five minutes in between. I'm like, how many, how many dates? Like if you can't remember all your excuses for all the dates you missed, you got a problem. <laughs>